I'm Eden Haas, and welcome back to your favorite show ever, Campus Update. Let's get cracking and swing into our show to hear what our softball team is up to. Um, the difference between baseball and softball, softball is a lot faster, the bases are closer, pitchers are closer, we throw underhand. We do different practices every day. We'll do fielding practice, we'll do hitting practice. During practice, we either have like fielding practice or hitting practice. And um, during fielding practice, we field, and during hitting practice, we hit. Some advice I'd give to someone who wants to play softball is uh, it's really fun. You'll get really close with your teammates, and the girls are really fun to be around. Practices are fun. They're not too challenging, but you'll get a lot out of them. I always played it growing up, and because my sister played it, and I look up to my sister, that's like kind of a family thing that I like to do. And then I like to hang out with my friends, which are all part of softball. and. It's a lot of fun. For me and Kelly's sophomore year, we beat La Salle 3-2, and it was a really close game, and we just played really well. And it was just our best game I think we've had, and it was really fun. Great. Softball. So for someone who wants to play softball, I would say just go out and try it, because our coaches here are really nice, and the players here have a lot of fun while playing softball and practicing, so we just have a blast just hanging out. Many of these girls are already committed to college, and who knows, they may even make a career out of it. You know what else you can make a career out of? ROP classes. Here's Mr. Schooler to tell you what ROP classes are so you can think about taking one next year. So ROP stands for Regional Occupational Program. The purpose of ROP classes is to give kids career skills and um, an idea of the industry that they're interested in. So it's exposing them to the types of jobs that are available um, in whatever career path they think they may be interested in. So we have a wide variety of ROP classes. Some of the examples include our automotive tech, animal health care, medical nursing careers, CSI, EMT, floral design. Um, as you can see, there's a wide variety of a lot of different classes for different students to choose from. So there's three different times that ROP classes take place. You have your in-bell schedule, so that's zero through six. We have after bell schedule on campus, and then our third option is after bell on a different campus. So there's really no wrong reason to take ROP classes. Uh, if the class sounds interesting, that's one reason to take it. A lot of kids take it for that reason. Another reason is to pursue certain career paths and certain jobs in the field. And the third reason really is um, if you need credits for graduation, it's a really good way to fill some extra credits, yeah. So for anything in Bell, uh, you sign up through your guidance text. For after Bell, you come directly in here to the Career Center and you see me, my name is Mr. Schooler. Uh, you fill out a, a paperwork and we go over where the class is, the time, and it's a pretty simple process and you get to put on your schedule. So if you have any questions about ROP, feel free to drop by the Career Center anytime. We're here every day. Tutorial and lunch is a great time. Uh, just drop by if you have 100 questions, if you have one question, it doesn't matter. That's why we're here to answer your questions about ROP. Half of you are probably still listening and the other half are probably tuned out by now. If you are listening and thinking to yourself, ROP sounds interesting, but what kind of class would be cool to take? Well, Campus Update is an ROP class. It's super spectacular fun and anyone can join. Well, here's a satire of what Campus Update is all about. Campus Update is cool. I wonder how they film it. Well, how would you like to visit the room where the magic happens? Wait, who said that? I am no one but your best friend. I will show you how Campus Update happens every week in this school. Where am I? This is the classroom where episodes of Campus Update are made. Come on in. I don't know anything about editing, filming, or anything. Well, that's why you're at school. We will teach you all the basics of Campus Update in the short little segment you're in right now. In fact, you're currently following the script we wrote. What? That's right. I'm actually voicing over this right now so you can hear me. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Now, you research and write out your script for your segment. I don't know how to write a segment. Then why are you here? The script required it! Now go film a segment. Okay. Great job, now edit your segment. Great, now go give it to your superiors to add it to the show. What is this? Campus Update is a pretty awesome class and you can actually learn a lot if you apply yourself. Think about it for next year. Something you can also think about next year is joining Bridges. If you care about people, want to make our campus better, and want our community to grow in positive ways, Bridges is the place for you. 
Bridges is a program on HBHS campus that focuses on fostering a campus environment of acceptance, tolerance, positivity, and just we talk about human relations issues and how it relates to us and what we want to do in the world. We do a lot of activities throughout the year, such as retreats, workshops, conferences, and a lot of campaigns for human relations issues. The main mission of Bridges is to make sure that everybody on campus feels welcome, accepted, and part of a community where everyone is respected and everyone has the freedom to express their opinions in a safe environment. I've been a member of Bridges for the past three years and I've been president for the past two and I really enjoyed my time with this program because it has really changed me a lot as a person. I used to be extremely timid and shy and afraid to do everything but Bridges is one of those activities that really gets you out of your shell and helps you realize that you have the potential to make the world a better place and that it's okay to to go out of your comfort zone. Seriously think about joining Bridges next year. Everyone is welcome. We are almost done with this show, but while we still have you, this next segment is for seniors. Here's everything you need to know about Grad Night. Uh, Grad Night is a fun-filled, non-stop all-nighter created for graduates to celebrate their four years of high school before they head off on their next adventure in a safe environment with provided transportation. The graduates will check in at the high school at 8.30 p.m. and the buses will return to the high school around 5.30 a.m. Grad night is the evening of graduation day and this year it is Wednesday, June 13th. You can buy tickets by downloading a permission ticket form by clicking on the Grad Night link on the Huntington Beach High School website. You mail the form and the payment to the address that's on the form. Tickets are currently $180 until May 1st cash, check, and credit cards are accepted until June 1st when the cost rises to $185 until June 8th, which is the last day tickets can be purchased. The location has always been kept a secret and only the grad night chairperson knows the location because of the significance of the extra special night for the senior class. The element of surprise is part of the grad night experience. Grad night's been at several different locations throughout Orange County. Graduates will want to have their phones fully charged that evening to receive the committee's text in case they're a winner of a gift card. Gift cards will be given out throughout the evening. Last year, 200 gift cards were given out. Besides your phone, car keys, and jackets if needed, nothing else should be brought to the event. Everything that may be needed will be provided. Seniors, you'll want to join your class of 2018 in the fun and not wish you did when you're seeing it on Snapchat and Instagram. This just in, wow, this is exciting news. We just got an anonymous tip that this year's grad night is going to be at Can you believe it? So awesome, I can't wait. That's enough for today, Oilers. We only have two episodes left this season. Are you ready? 